Down to business. Let's talk about Shucked. Now, this is a musical. Imagine a cross between The Rainmaker and Hee Haw. And this is what you get. This is a show that takes place in this little town that has been surrounded by cornfields, by maize. So the corn here is literally and figuratively as high as an elephant's eye. This town has been cut off from the world and corn is their export. Now, I guess someone has to go up. I guess someone comes to pick up the corn because none of these inhabitants have ever been out of their small village until one day a crisis happens. The corn is dying. So there, one of their residents decides she has to leave and find someone who can help their village. And she travels to Florida and she finds a guy who says he's a corn doctor. Of course, I think he meant podiatrist. And she brings him back. And as it turns out, he's neither. <laughs> but he says he can help the town. And it just goes from there. And you have, let's see. Oh, yes, you have these two storytellers, uh, Gray Henson and uh, Ashley D. Kelly, who they are so much fun. They come in and out of the show in different guises. And, and it's cute. And you have um, Alex Newell. You remember? And they, and they tell the corniest joke, uh, corniest jokes in the world. Yes. Well, as I said, the corn is... Figuratively, as high as a as an elephant's eye. Yeah, and what's what's the matter, Leslie? Don't you like corn? Uh, we're talking about corn, corn in in the, in the literary sense, no. <laughs> in, the, in the edible sense, yes. <laughs> okay. You know, Charlie, when we when we reviewed uh, White Girl in Danger, mm -hmm. one of the things I loved about that was the, was the, was the bad jokes. Because they were in jokes, they were theater jokes, and they were in jokes. The corn jokes, after the first two seconds, just set my teeth on it. That's you know, I had no, I was not able to get into it because of that. But go ahead, finish okay. telling what the story is about. Well, it's basically will will he be able to rescue the town? And there, of course, there will be romance uh, between this charlatan uh, named Bo played. Uh, quite nicely by Andrew Durand and Maisie, the woman who braved her way out of the village and she believes in him and, well, she's really cute and she's wearing this nice outfit, you know. Okay, she could be easily be a hee-haw honey and that is uh, well played by uh, Carolyn uh, Innerbisher. And then there's Lulu, her friend, played by Alex Newell. Remember uh, Alex mm. Glee? Doing what Alex did on, on Glee very nicely. As, as Lulu belting, belting everything out. And then there is Peanut. He's the best friend. And this is Kevin Cahoon, who would have fit in very well. If they ever want to do a revival of Hee Haw, this guy is in. I mean, he is the quintessential local yokel. But, Leslie, is it enough? Well, you know, I, again, I, I gave away what I what I felt. The only reason I wanted to see was for Alex Newell. That's the truth of the matter. When I heard the name of the play, oh, no, there were two, two things. One is the director is Jack O'Brien, who's a director of great note, many Tony Awards or nominations, um, a real old-timer at this, and who knows how to put on a show. So I wanted to see that. Um, and, and those two, Alex Newell was great. I can't believe that Jack O'Brien was connected to this for two seconds, but I'm sure he was. And um, I just, we were talking about putting on a show in a barn, <laughs> you know, like in the old days. This was a show in a barn. That's exactly what this was. And but not, not quite Mickey and Judy. It was full of corn. It was corny. And yes. I, that kind of corn, I don't like. I never okay. liked Eeyore. I never liked that kind of, just 
it, it just doesn't, well, the, it doesn't affect me. It doesn't move me. It's not me. Okay, so, show a uh, book by I Robert the Horn. For this, show. This, hey, this show got 12 Tony nominations. Who am I? What am I to say? You know, I mean, <laughs> that, so obviously I'm in the vocal minority. So I'll just let you talk and I'll set up. Well, this is a book by Robert Horn, uh, music and lyrics by Bradley Clark uh, and Shane McAnally. I did have fun with this. Did it get silly at times? Yes. Would it have been better had it perhaps been a little more Wayne Maker and a little less Hee Haw? Perhaps. Maybe it needed to be more Hee Haw. I don't know. But you'll have a very light, very fun evening. And let's face it, corn always goes down easy. And if that's what you're looking for, well, I think we've got a show for you. And I will give this three playbills. Did I, I have to give a playbook. Huh? Yes, you do. I, I'm just so predisposed not to like it that it's not there. I will give it 2.5. Really? I will give it 5 for Alex Newell, but I will give it only 2.5 for the entire experience. I, I just couldn't handle it. I'm really sorry. I, I, and I, I, it's on me. I mean, I, I should be able to be open to just about anything, but I can see violence and nudity. I just can't see <laughs> boring. When history sorry. is freaking jumping to the first Thanksgiving, the Indians brought something they called maize. Ah, oh, maize! Around 11.30, the pilgrim stuffed the turkey, slipped into a trip to panic haze. With leftovers for dinner.